Drumforge just dropped a new plugin called Drumflex, and of course, I'm going to pick it up and give it a spin for you guys. Let's see what it's all about. Hey guys, James here from James Set Productions. The awesome folks at Drumforge just released a new drum processing plugin called Drumflex. Drumflex is a multi plugin in one kind of thing where it has EQ, a transient designer, compressor, and clipper. I just picked it up, and in this video, I will be trying it out on the super popular GGD Modern and Massive drum library. I'm also giving away one license of this plugin. And all you need to do is make a comment below and tell me your role in the music industry. Are you primarily a musician, a mixing engineer, a mastering engineer, a producer, and so on? I will announce the winner two weeks from now on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so you don't miss it if you win. I do want to mention that I'm not sponsored by Drumforge in any way. I literally bought it with my own money and I'm free to tell you my honest opinions about it. Without further ado, let's go to the DAW and take a look at Drumflex. Let's first take a quick look at the Drumflex plugin. So in here, you can have scaling, which is really great. For the mode, we have one mode for kick, one for snare, one for tom, one for bus. There isn't a mode for overheads or the room mics, which I thought was pretty weird. You would think they would put a mode for the overhead and the drum rooms because the drum room especially is huge in terms of getting the drum sound. So I don't know why they didn't put that in. I wish they did, but it is what it is, right? And then over here, we have punch, a squeeze, which is supposedly a compressor, and an attack, a tone, which is a kind of like an EQ. And what I like most about this plugin is that there is a, a clipper built in in the output, which is awesome because clippers, they are so useful for mixing drums. So that's very good. And obviously over here, we have the, the, the mix knob and bypass. And here we have a short demo that I wrote to test out the Drumflex plugin. It's a simple Genty song with a clean guitar, a pair of stereo rhythm guitars, bass, and most importantly, drums. The drums are GGD Modern and Massive. I chose this library because it is extremely popular. Since Drumflex is designed for mixing drum samples, I thought was better than using GGD for the demo, right? And if you look at the channels here, I have turbo mode turned on, which is like basically mixed samples for uh, overheads and rooms for all the pieces because Drumflex doesn't have a mode for overhead or the drum rooms. We're not going to be able to mix those. That's why I turned it on. So we're hearing like a more processed version of those. But for the kick direct mics and the snare close mics, like these two and... The Tom mics, they're all raw because that's what we're going to be trying out the drum flex on. Before we dive in and try out the drum flex on the drums, I'm just going to play you the demo as it is. So you have an idea what it sounds like before we start mixing the kick, the snare, the toms with drum flex. Keep in mind, nothing is mixed in this demo. As you can see, the clean guitar only has an amp sim, a reverb, and a limiter. The stereo guitars only has an amp sim and an EQ. The bass just has a parallax, EQ, and limiter. And for the drums, all I did was putting a gate on the snare. I kept the kick, the snare, and the toms raw because I want to show you what kind of changes drum flex can do to just the raw drum shells. Okay, here's how it sounds with nothing on the snare, the kick, and the toms. Alright, let's first put the drum flex on the kick drum. We're going to solo the kick so we can hear that. So obviously this is a compressor. So as you increase that, the kick becomes more uh, squished and becomes a little bit more punchy and it has less dynamic range. I think that's pretty good. And let's try out the punch and the attack.
So I noticed that the attack slider, even though it says attack, it sounds like it's doing, uh, it's changing something in the top end. So it's not a transient designer. So it's not just, you know, making the attack uh, louder. Maybe it's talking about perceived attack. So maybe like adding more presence to the kick. That could be what it's doing, but it's definitely not just a regular transient designer. I think that's a pretty good starting point. Obviously, it's not done. It's just a starting point. I think that sounds pretty good. And I'm going to clip the drums a little bit. I think that's a pretty good spot. I don't want it to sound like it's being clipped. I just want it to be clipped a little bit. So I think that's a good spot. Let's compare the before and after. Okay, it becomes louder, so I, I want to decrease the volume a little bit so we're not fooled by loudness. So that's pretty good. Now the kick becomes a little bit more forward and a little bit more punchy. It also has a little bit more attack. Let's move on to the snare. So I have to make sure I change that to snare mode and let's see what it does. That compression actually sounds really pleasant. It reminds me a little bit of Distressor. It's very attacky, but it also has a nice tail of like the sustain. So it's kind of sounding fatter because of that. That's sounding really good actually. I really like that. And now let's mess with the punch and attack. And lastly, I'm going to clip the snare a little bit just to control some of the spikes. That sounds pretty good to me. And now let's compare the before and after. Yeah, to me, that was a huge improvement just with one plugin. And that's actually pretty amazing. Just how much this one plugin can do because now it has, it has all the things that basically you need to shape the tone of the drum, which is like compression and some EQ on the top and the bottom and some overall EQ. So I really like that. Now let's try that on the toms. So we have rack tom over here. I'm going to loop this section. Always remember to change it to the toms and the mix. I don't like it at 50, so I always change it at 100% so I hear what's going on. That's pretty good. And the last step is to clip it a little bit.
And now let's compare the before and after. I'm just going to lower the volume so it's not too loud. Yeah, that sounds really good. I might actually even want a little bit more compression. That sounds great. And now let's move on to Tom Floor Tom 1. That compression is very pleasant. I actually wish I could crank it up a little bit more. If I could crank it up a little bit more, I would actually would probably use that and blend it in with the mix. But now I feel like even at 100% and with this at maximum, it could still go a little bit more. Yeah, I don't think this needs any more low end. So I'm just going to leave that at zero. And I'm going to just clip a little bit. And now let's hear the before and after. Again, that was a huge improvement. I really love what I can do with just one plugin. Obviously in a real mix situation, there's gonna be a lot more that needs to be done. But so far, just from using one plugin, I was able to, you know, change the tone of the toms in a pretty drastic way. And so far I'm pretty impressed. So here I have drum flex on the last tom, which is the floor tom two. And let's see how it goes. Again, I love that compression, you know? I really wish we could even go further with that. Let's check out before and after. As you can hear, huge improvement. I really love that. That's actually really impressive. So let's actually hear what it sounds like with just the drums and with the processing we just did for the kick, the snare, and the toms. I'm gonna bypass it. Put it back on. Definitely sounding much better with the Drum Flex plugin. And now, one of the most important things, as we know, for mixing drums is drum bus processing. And thankfully, Drum Flex has a mode for the bus. So now I have the mode on the bus and I'm going to crank the mix to 100 for now. Let's see what everything does to the whole drum bus.
able to bypass it and turn it back on and see the before and after. So in this scenario, I noticed that as I cranked it all the way up, it sounded really, um, it sounds like it was a VCA compressor on a very kind of like a medium attack and fast release. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to actually use parallel compression and see how that goes. Yeah, that's actually sounding really pleasant, especially I noticed that um, there's a lot more attack from the drums now, which is really awesome. Uh, let's actually play it with the rest of the instruments. So using drum flex as a parallel compression on the drum bus make the drums stand out a little bit more. It cuts through the mix a little bit more. So here are what the drum sounds like with drum flex bypass on the drum bus, the kick, snare, and toms. And then I'm going to play again with drum flex on on all these channels so we can compare what it sounds like before and after. This is with all the drum flex on. Again, nothing is mixed when it comes to the guitars, the bass, and uh, the drums in relation to the guitar and bass. But so far, what you can do with drum flex is actually pretty impressive. If this is what we can do with raw samples, imagine how much this can actually enhance your drum sound in the mix uh, when you're mixing an actual mix. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the plugin. It's supposed to help mixing engineer tweak their drum mix for the client without having to adjust a whole bunch of things. And I can definitely see myself using it to make some small adjustments for drums. If, for example, a band tells me they want the snare to be a bit darker, or if they want the kick to be a bit clickier. For the launch price of $19, I think it's a pretty awesome little tool to have for mixing engineers. That's it for this video. Subscribe and give it a like if you find it helpful. Don't forget that I'm giving away one license of this plugin. Just leave a comment and tell me your role in the music industry. The winner will be announced on my Instagram two weeks from today. Thank you for watching and now get back to your doll and make some music. And I will see you next time.